Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Jay Inslee, and I am delighted to say that I am a candidate to be a governor of the state that is most innovative and has some of the best teachers in the world today, and that is the state of Washington. And I'm happy to say that. And I want to tell you, I am wearing my red Washington State Apple pin today because I believe in good teaching and good teachers. That's the pin I'm wearing today. And I just want to say, I want to tell you why I'm here. I am here because I was lucky. I was lucky to have great teachers. Mrs. Overstreet in first grade at Viewlands Elementary School in Seattle taught me to read. Mr. Heritage at Cascade Junior High School in the Highline District taught me science. <laughs> Mr. McKinstry at Ingram High School taught me chemistry. And of course, most importantly, Mr. Milroy taught me the secrets of the zone press in basketball. <laughs> I was lucky. I had great teaching. And now I am running for governor to make sure every child of those one million children in our hands and in your hands are to have the same fortune that I had. And let me tell you why I believe in great teaching as the secret of our community's progress. It's in part because of my dad. My dad taught biology in, at South and Garfield. And he was lucky. He had a great mentor to help him learn how to teach, a fellow named Swede Lindquist. And I know what that difference makes. Because when I go around the state of Washington, I run into people all over the state said, was your dad Frank Inslee? And I say, yeah. And he said, he was my biology teacher. He made a big difference in my life. And I know because of what you and your brothers and sisters are doing, you are making a big difference in the lives of people all over this state. And I'm intent to make sure you can continue to do that. That's why I'm running for governor of the state of Washington. And I want to note that I'm running for governor to make sure we have that opportunity across the state of Washington. Look, I spent almost two decades in raising our kids in public schools in the Yakima Valley. When I think of teaching, when I think of teaching, I think of Toppenish and Mattawa and Squim just as much as I think of districts underneath the shadow of the Space Needle. This whole state needs to move forward together. That's how I think of education in our state. Now, I went to Olympia in 1988, intending to help our communities. And since I left Olympia over 20 years ago, I've represented our state in Congress and in the private sector. And in those 20 years, I have learned what the secret is of the state of Washington. And the secret is having an innovative economy. And I know we have to do everything possible to keep that spirit of innovation alive. I want the state to continue to lead these technological revolutions. And I know the critical thinking skills and creativity that led some to dream up Amazon, Microsoft, they just didn't emerge when those leaders were 20 years of age. Those skills developed over years by teachers and parents. Four years ago, I wrote a book about how we can grow jobs in the clean energy sector. And since then, I've been advocating for our state and country to move forward. And I believe the clean energy sector can unite the state of Washington, where farmers in Yakima can develop biofuels, where wind in the east can power the skyscrapers of the west. And I believe that if we play our cards right, the world will beat a path to the door of entrepreneurs throughout the state of Washington in these high-tech jobs. There's a similar revolution going on in biotechnology right now. More than 75,000 people in our state are developing biopharmaceuticals, uh, medical devices, and emphasizing global health. But to keep that going, 
We need to match our education and job training programs to the needs of our growth industries. Now here's what I think we can do. I have been in a perfect marriage for 39 years. And that is, a, that is a marriage by definition of a marriage of a husky and a cougar, by definition. <laughs> so we love the UW and WSU equally. And I want to put the research and innovation capacity of our great universities, which now will stack up against any universities in the country, that have spun off 272 uh, companies already, we want to turn that research into business opportunities. At the University of Utah, they generate one new company for every $19 million of research and development, if they do. Here, we only get one new company for every $100 million of R&D that we do. That's not good enough. So as part of my education plan, we're going to make it easier for university research to spin off to create companies. If we get one new company for every $50 million of research, we'll create over $3 billion in new economic activity every year. When I'm governor, I won't be satisfied to do half as well as Utah. Our goal will be for Washington to lead the country and the world in innovation. That is our goal, and we're going to fulfill that. But here's. Here's why I talk about this. I talk about this because none of this, none of this is possible without a first-rate K through 12 education system. Kids who don't get a solid foundation in elementary school won't succeed in a rigorous high school, and kids who aren't challenged in high school won't have skills they need to earn and take advantage of a college degree or advanced training. This we know. The foundation for a 21st century economy has to be a 21st century K through 12 and college education system. And, and that won't happen if our schools don't match the educational system to the demands of the new economy. Too many kids we know today are not graduating from high school. Too many do not have a foundation of math and science that they knew that they that we know that they need. Now here's why I'm optimistic about our potential in the state of Washington. Over the past year, I have visited schools all across our state, from Rogers here in Spokane to Sterling Middle School in Tacoma. And I've seen great examples of schools that are not waiting for politicians in order to achieve excellence. They're not waiting for directives from Olympia in order to achieve excellence. Districts like Renton School District, where they've improved, where they have improved graduation rates from 75% to 93% just in five years. That's something we should celebrate. That's something we should celebrate. A 20% improvement in five years, and it's not just Renton. Go to Pasco. Look at them with a 20 or 30 percent increase. These are results we know we can achieve, and we need to make them the rule rather than the exception. And we know we can do this because we have inspired teachers to do this with. And that's what inspires me. We are an innovative state, and we need to be an innovative public school system. The demands of the new economy require it, and that we always have to be alert for new ways of educating our students. Now, fortunately, we have those great examples of innovation, don't we? From Talbot Hill Elementary in Renton to Lincoln Center in Tacoma, we are seeing teachers and principals who are taking on the hard task of providing students new learning environments and new ways to focus on challenging fields. This morning, an edu education advocacy group called Stand for Children endorsed my opponent. Now, my opponent, my opponent has endorsed charter schools unfettered by public accountability. Now, I think anyone who is interested in education should be welcome to this discussion. 
But when I am governor, I am going to respect the people of Washington who have voted down non-accountable charter schools three times. And I understand And I understand who the people are who stand up every morning in front of classrooms every day and actually do the hard work of teaching our kids, and that's Washington State teachers. I understand that. Now, charter schools untethered from public accountability are not the only way to innovate. We are going to provide parents and teachers both the incentives and the tools to embrace innovation. When I am governor, I will lead an innovative schools initiative to do just that. And the seeds of innovation that are now found across this state are going to sprout around our state with the help of great teachers. That you can take to the bank. But I won't turn schools over to private groups with no accountability to local school boards and local communities. That we should not do. And here's the reason. The hard fact is that places that have severed the connection uh, between schools and the public have experienced twice as many charter schools failing than have actually been succeeding. We in our state are going to embrace innovation, but innovation with accountability, with an assurance that every child succeeds, not just the fortunate crew, few. This is the Washington way, and we are going to embrace the Washington way forward in education. So for our kids to excel in the jobs of the future, we know what we need to do. We've got to eliminate the achievement gap. We've got to create an expectation that every student graduate from high school. We know we need to emphasize the importance of STEM education. And I have a plan for our schools that gives talented teachers and principals the room to expand their best practices. Look, I want the best practices to be known across this state. We look at Clover Park, which had some good education for their fifth grade teachers, and they close the achievement gap by 10%. Let's think about doing that across the state of Washington and give you the ability to do it. That's the kind of thing we need to do across the state of Washington. And I believe that good teachers shouldn't have to go into administration to improve compensation. We should make it possible. We should make it possible for them to mentor younger teachers and pass on the experience and skills that make outstanding teachers. Yes, I do believe in accountability. Accountability for teachers. We all want the best for our kids. But I also believe if we're going to ask you to be accountable for student performance, we better give you the tools we need and the opportunity to innovate in your classrooms. And let me say clearly, let me say this clearly. As governor, I will not allow a Wisconsin-style attack on teachers to happen in the state of Washington. We know what happened in Wisconsin. The leadership there instead of pointing their fingers at the Wall Street bankers who are responsible for the collapse of our economy, pointed their fingers to the, at the first grade teachers. That is not a way forward, and we need to choose a different path. When I'm a governor, we're going to improve test scores, but our focus will be on improving lives through education. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something I've learned in my 20 years away from Olympia. And by the way, I'm not the candidate who's been stuck in Olympia for seven years. I want to bring fresh blood and new ideas to Olympia. I'm that candidate. What I've learned is that the solution to our challenges and the keys to our future will not be found by tinkering around the bureaucracy in Olympia. 
Our future depends on our ability to unleash the innovative potential of the people in Seattle, in Spokane, in Vancouver, in Bellingham, in Tri-Cities, in the small town of Sela, where our family got its start. I have a plan to grow our economy, but it's a plan less about Olympia and more about making Olympia work for innovators. My plan for education isn't about giving more tests for an analysts in Olympia to study. It's about giving creative and effective educators like you the ability to share what you know with teachers across the state. As a member, as a member of Congress, I watched our national politics get more polarized and less productive over the last 10 years. And it did so because people decided that it had to be my way or the highway approach to governance. We saw my opponent who took that approach most recently when the Republicans tried to catch, cut $74 million out of education. That's not gonna happen when I'm governor of the state of Washington, I'll tell you that. We can't allow, we can't allow this to happen here in Washington. I'm committed to a different way. We're gonna look forward to new opportunity, and we won't waste time refighting old battles. We're gonna embrace innovation, not just repeat tired partisan talking points. We're gonna build a future based on Washington values, not generic ideas from other states, which by the way, respects women's health care in the state of Washington. I wanna say that. I am the candidate that is not gonna let Rob McKenna take away from cancer survivors and breast cancer survivors the right to get health insurance. I'm the one fighting for that. I wanna make that clear. I'm running for governor because I believe in what Washington is. I love every part of this state. I know every part of this state. And I know what the teachers face having come from with a family of teachers. And to make sure that we allow teachers to improve their opportunities, I need your votes. I need your help in this election. Working the phones, knocking on doors, getting person-to-person -person contact to check when they check the Barack Obama ticket to check Jay Inslee right next to it on that ballot. And I'm gonna be very appreciative. But I wanna close on a personal note of why I believe in you. I believe in you because of Cindy Johnson. Cindy Johnson was a teacher at John Campbell Elementary School in the Sela Public Schools. She taught all three of, of my sons, one of whom was a special education student. And when he was growing up, you know what he needed? He needed a teacher who believed in him. And he got a teacher who believed in him. And her name was Cindy Johnson. And because he had Cindy Johnson, we now have a young man and father who's a working man in Kitsap County, who's married to a wonderful forensic scientist, who's given me the two most beautiful grandkids in the state of Washington. <laughs> but we have that because we had someone who believed in my son who was a teacher. That's why I believe in you. And every morning for the next several months, I'm gonna give up making sure that we give you what you need to believe in students, early child education. I'm gonna stand up for smaller class size. I'm gonna stand up for better mentoring. I'm gonna stand up for improvements in our teaching and testing regime. I'm gonna stand up to make sure your collective bargaining rights are respected. I'm gonna stand up that when you do good teaching, you can share that across the state of Washington. You can take this to the bank for the next several months. I believe in you. I believe in what you can do for our kids. I believe in an ability to governor, to help you do your jobs. Let's go elect a governor who believes in teaching in this state. Thanks a lot. I look forward to working here. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you.